Okay, now in this section we're going to discuss piecewise functions. And a piecewise function is a function that is defined in different pieces. And that's why it's called a piecewise function. But first, remember what a function is. And think about this example. f of x equals x squared over 8 plus 2. We could have used any example, but I just made this one up. This is just an example of a function. And what we do is we put in a value for x, we do this calculation and that gives us a value for the function. And that value for the function is a y value. Saying that f of x equals x squared over 8 plus 2 is the same thing as saying y equals x squared over 8 plus 2. And if we make a graph of the function, we basically put in a whole bunch of different values for x. And for each one, we do this calculation and get a corresponding value for y. And we plot those points on the x-y coordinate system plot a whole bunch of those points and we see the curve that is the graphical representation of this function. And that's what a calculator does, a graphing calculator, when we uh, graph the function. Let's pull the calculator up here and if you click y equals this screen comes up and you can type in the function. I'm going to type x squared over 8 plus 2 and when I hit graph it's going to start on the left side of the screen. It'll, it'll draw x, y axes and the x value all the way on the left is negative 10 and it will go across the, all the way from the left to the right from negative 10 to positive 10 incrementing x a little bit each time and all those different x values get plugged into this formula and a different y value gets calculated and it plots the points so here we go and you see a smooth continuous curve it plots enough points that it draws the whole curve with no gaps there so that's just a quick example of a function and the, the key point here the the main concept, which is one of the main things about functions, is that this function, x squared over 8 plus 2, is our rule for calculating the y values. Now with all that in mind, let's talk about piecewise functions. A piecewise function is a function that is defined in different pieces. That means there will be one equation, something like this, for calculating the y values for some of the x values in the domain and then another equation, a different equation, for other values in the domain. So for example, let's suppose that we had one rule, one um, expression like this for calculating y values when x is negative and another rule for calculating y values when x is positive. And I'll give you an example of a piecewise function. We can call this example 1. And here's the notation. We say f of x is equal to this and we use a big curly brace a large one and I'm gonna say negative x plus 2 okay that's my function but that rule is used for calculating the value of the function when x is less than or equal to 0 and then I'm gonna say 1 half x plus 2 okay that's a different rule a different function we use that equation for calculating the y values when x is greater than 0 so look at our graph here. This x is less than 0 and x is greater than 0 basically divides the graph into two parts. x is less than 0 is all the area over here and x is greater than 0 is all the area over here. So when x is less than 0 we'll, we will use negative x plus 2 to calculate the y value and when x is greater than 0 we'll use this equation 1 half x plus 2 to calculate the y value. So let's do this negative x plus 2 is a line. Uh, I'll do this one in yellow. Negative x plus 2 is a line. It has a slope of negative 1 and a y-intercept of 2. So let's plot our y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 1. Now this line would look something like this, but I'm not going to draw that. I'm only going to draw it when x is less than or equal to 0. So it will look something like this it will continue it continues forever in that direction that's what that arrowhead means but I stop there at 0 because when x is greater than 0 I have a different rule I'll switch colors here when x is greater than 0 I have 1 half x plus 2 this is also a line 1 half x plus 2 it has a slope of 1 half and a y-intercept of 2 so y-intercept of 2 is that point right there and from there we have a slope of one half so this function looks something like this it's gonna have a slope of one half so that's up one over two that puts me here 
and here and I'll draw the line through those points. Let me try that again. Okay, and notice I don't continue this line in this direction because this rule right here, this little expression for calculating the value of the function only applies when x is greater than zero. So there we have it. That's the graph of a piecewise function. Both of these uh, rays graphed together make up the graph of this function. So that's it, a piecewise function defined in two different pieces. Those are the two pieces. This is the notation using this large curly brace to tie those two things together as a single function and it's graphed in two separate pieces, one for each section of the domain as specified there in the function definition. Now in the next video I'll come back and we'll work through several examples of piecewise functions that will demonstrate some various important points along the way.